Now to our fire watch, the Solano County fire is now out after an intense scare in the same area that burned last year. At one point, authorities warned of an immediate threat to life. Marissa Perlman reports on the likelihood of a fire devastating that very same area two years in a row. This neighborhood knows the look of this ash all too well. This morning's fire quickly contained, but this came dangerously close to the burn scar from last year's LNU complex fire. And for the second year in a row, a two mile stretch of homes and buildings had to evacuate. I said, it's coming our direction. Evacuees in last year's Hennessy fire, which became part of the LNU complex fire. But I heard on the police scanner, our address was surrounded by flames. It was burned into Valerie and Bob Nelson's memories as this morning's brush fire inched close to their property. The sheriff's office immediately issued evacuation orders on a two mile stretch of Pleasants Valley Road, just west of the Solano County line. Solano County Office of Emergency Services said the quick moving fire posed an immediate threat to life. So the fire today was maybe the first three quarters to a mile. Off of Terry Glenn. Vacaville Fire says the grass has grown back since the LNU complex, creating another fire danger. This was closer because when we evacuated last year, we saw the Hennessy fire going in the distance from the hills behind us here. You could see the plume of smoke. But crews got today's fire contained within an hour. Bob and Valerie say they're always packed and ready to go. We have to look out for each other. Well, that was Marissa Perlman reporting. Crews were able to contain that fire to 30 acres. No buildings were destroyed.